Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to use Flutter segmented button with light and dark mode feature. As you can see by default you will see the system, but if you click on light it will switch to the light mode, but if you click dark it will switch to the dark mode. We are going to achieve this by using Qubit for state management and shared preferences for the local storage. So without wasting time let's get started and develop this Hey guys, this is where we are going to get started. I'm inside my main.dart where I'm importing homepage and inside homepage I have a simple app bar with the body and inside the body you can see we have this icon with the text and under that we have theme mode text and under that we can now go and create segmented button. So I'm gonna go and create segmented button. For the segments I'm gonna make it blank, empty list and for the selected the same. And inside the segments, I'm going to go and create button segment. And for the value, now I'm going to make it null. But I want to add the label parameter. And for the text, I'm going to say system. And I'm going to duplicate this. And I have a light and dark. Now we go and also add one more parameter, call it on selection change it and now we will make it empty. And now we will go and add these values. To add the values we need to go and create theme qubit, qubit.dart. Before we create this we need to add necessary packages. I'm gonna add dependency, first of all flutter block this one it will automatically get it I have extension that's why and also one more dependency called um, share it preference share it preferences okay so once we get these packages we now and first of all create enum theme state we have system we have light and dark now we go go back to the home and here for the value of system we will use theme state dot system and here as well theme state dot light and finally theme state dot dark and I'm gonna save that and also and also for the segmented button here um, here inside a home page you see we need to and also here we need to specify specify this theme state okay now we will go and create the qubit part so here I'm going to go and create a class theme qubit is going to extends so we are going to import the qubit so here we also specify the theme state state and inside we need to first of all create the instance of this shared preferences shared preferences shared preferences and also we need to create the theme qubit constructor generate the constructor also for the default value we want to have this theme state dot system if you want you can have the default value of dark or light based on your preference so here now we will go and create a couple of functions so first of all we need to have set theme mode function we also need to have the save theme preference function along with load theme preference function okay now we will go and start with set theme mode function void set theme mode and for the parameters we will use theme state theme state and under that we will go and emit this state theme state and under that we will use this method but we don't have it now so we'll go and create first of all save 
theme preference and inside we will use the same theme state theme state and inside that we will use shared preferences dot set string and for the key we will use theme mode and for the value we will use theme state dot to string so once we are done with the with this function we will go and use this here save theme preference and then here we will use theme state and finally we have one more function a load theme preference so i'm gonna go and create that we don't need to specify here the theme state instead we can directly write the logic so if the string is nullable so then we want to create stored theme and it's going to be string nullable so share it preferences dot get string and here for the k we use theme mode that we created here so under that we go and create a, the if logic the condition so if story theme not equals to null then we want to write nested condition if stored theme equals to string theme state dot dark then we want to emit theme state to dark else if else if stored theme equals to theme state dot light then you guessed right we need to emit theme state dot dark sorry it's light theme state dot light okay and finally else we want to emit theme state dot system and also here for the if condition if else we want to seem state dot system as well here okay so we need to basically emit this okay now i'm gonna save this and now what we have to do once we are done these three functions set theme mode save preference and load theme preference we need to go back to the home page and inside this home page we need to wrap this segmented button with a block builder and here for the block and state we need to change theme and here we need to use theme qubit and here we need to use theme state and now we need to import this block builder and inside that we have context and state as you can see so in my selected i'm gonna use state and in my on selection change it i'm going to use here set we need to set this theme state and also here we need to write selected selected and inside this selection change it we need to write context dot read so we are reading this theme qubit and then we need to add set theme mode and for the theme state we need to use selected dot first and now we will go and save that and now um, what we need to do is that we need to go and initialize this so i'm going to change this home page stateless widget to stateful widget inside my state i'm going to initialize it so after this super dot init state i want to read this context.read so we are reading this theme qubit and here we are going to basically load theme preference and now 
As you can see, we are still getting the error. Don't worry because we haven't initialized this shared preference as well as the, the qubit. So we will go back to the home page. And here, first of all, we are going to wrap this my app widget with the block provider widget. And here I'm going to use theme qubit and also import this block provider. Also provide this theme uh, add required parameter shared preference. Okay. So inside my run app, you see that we need to add this first widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize it. And after that, we need to import this shared preference instance. So final share it. We need to create this instance, share it preferences. And here we need to await share it preferences dot get instance, right? Get instance. Once we are done here inside theme qubit, we need to add these required shared preferences and we need to simply add these shared preferences that we created here. And after that, we go to the material app. We need to wrap this material app with block builder. Also the same here, we need to add theme, qubit, and inside this builder, we need to, we, need, we have the context and state, as you can see. And instead of state, we can simply use theme state here. And now inside my material app, I want to add for the theme parameter, I want to add theme data dot light. And for the dark theme, I want to add theme data dot dark. And for the theme mode, we need to create uh, one function. So I'm going to uncomment this for now. And outside this my app class, I'm going to create another function called this. It's going to be a theme mode, get theme mode. And it's, it will include this theme state, theme state. And inside this function, we need to write the condition. So we're going to use switch condition instead of if this time theme state. And here we will use our cases. The case one is if state sim state dot is system or let's start with light. Then we want to return theme state dot light, right? It's sorry, it's not theme state, it's going to be theme mode dot light, right? And I'm going to copy this case and duplicate two times. And here I'm going to change it dark, dark. And finally, we have this system. So we have this theme mode function with the condition, switch condition. So if the theme state is light, then we want the theme mode dot light. So if the theme state is dark, then we want the theme mode dot dark. So basically it's as simple as that. Now we will uncomment the theme mode. And here I'm going to simply use the, this function, get theme mode. And inside I'm going to use this state theme state. Now I'm going to save all my codes and restart the app. And you, as you can see, it will automatically change it. But uh, if you stop the app and restart it, now as you can see, by default, we are seeing system color. But if you change to the light, it will change to the light mode. And if you change to the dark, it will change to the dark mode. So. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. So in this video, we have learned how to use Flutter segmented button with light and dark mode feature using shared preference for the local storage and qubit for state management. Thank you very much. And don't forget to press like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in my next videos.